fucking face, so what? Uh, numb nigga, chop on me with a drum nigga Run up on me with a drum nigga, shoot shit up What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Chilwell, and I am back with another video, man. And in today's video, as y'all can tell by the title, by the thumbnail, and by the box I got set up right behind me, man. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing an unboxing slash on foot review to the new retro Air Jordan 6s that just released the metallic silver 6s, aka the high top chrome 6s, man. We're gonna be doing uh, I'm gonna let y'all know how much the shipping cost, how much the retail price was, how much the resale price is going for, in at least the size that I got. And I'm going to be doing an uh, on-foot review and letting y'all know some pros about this shoe and some cons about it. Just to let y'all know if y'all want to buy them, you know what I'm saying? But um, a quick heads up throughout this video. If y'all hear me sniffling or if I sound congested or if I sneeze, my allergies are kicking my tail right now. So just bear with me. But like I said, man, stick around to the very last bit of the video because that's when I'm going to do the on-foot review. So if y'all want to see that, like I said, stick around to the end. But before we get into the video, man, make sure to leave a like on this video. Comment some more videos y'all want to see. And most importantly, subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos that I post this December. You know, December 1st is today, the day I am posting this video. You know what I'm saying? You're probably seeing this, like I said, on this December 1st. And yeah, I don't want to miss all the bangers I got for y'all. But um, yeah, follow me on Instagram and TikTok as well. Everything you need to know will be down in the description below. And that's enough talking, man. Let's get into the shoe unboxing. Let's go. All right, y'all, so starting off real quick on the day, the release date and all that types of stuff, shipping and all that types of stuff. Release date of these Air Jordan 6s did release November 26th. Today is November 30th. The day I'm recording this video, but the day y'all watching it is probably December 1st. So shipping took four days. I did get these off of the sneakers Nike app. I hit, It wasn't a draw, but I woke up 10 o'clock in the morning, entered, got them off the sneakers app. If I didn't get them off the sneakers app, I still could have probably got these off of any shoe app. This was not really a... Uh, Two hype shooter where you couldn't get it so oh uh, yeah i caught these off of sneakers retail was 200 dollars plus tax so i spent exactly 212 dollars um resale on goat at least i only use goat because you know i heard about stockings and all that so for resale if you're trying to pick these up and y'all can't find them on any shoe sneaker app or anything you want to pick them up for resale resale for my size i did get a nine and a half it's only going for i think 226 and that's uh before like shipping and after shipping on goes sh shipping on goes like what 14 16 dollars you're probably paying a total of 240 but in my opinion that's a great price for resale if you really want these back because that's only a good like 30 dollars more than what i paid so not too much not too much of a difference um yeah so shipping took only four days pricing was really good it wasn't really a hassle to get these so yeah that's all about the shipping the prices and the resale now let's actually get to the actual box and the shoes you know what i'm saying so this is how the box is looking it is a half a black half like or more and more like one fourth of the box is black and then it does have this like aluminum chrome half with the um black jump man reminds me of the dmp6 that came out maybe a, I think a year probably more than a year time is fine but a few years ago y'all know what i'm talking about i'm pretty sure the box was the same as this it was half gold and black so yeah uh on the price tag or whatever uh the price tag and all that i don't know if you can see it but it reads it reads Air Jordan 6 Retro in the color blocking or the colorway says black slash metallic silver. Uh, black, that, that's how it looks right there. Box box is pretty crispy, you know. I don't know if y'all are into the box or not. Me, I like keeping my boxes, but it's like it's a whatever thing at the same time. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna pop these open real quick and take a quick look at them. And this is my first time opening these. Like I said, these came in the mail two days. So, like, if they were to scan me and put a pair of sketches in here, Y'all will see my reaction on this video. No, nah, honestly, I wouldn't post it, but inside has this regular white paper, as you can see. It's a lot of white paper. And boom, here we go. Oh, yeah, these are looking really crispy, you know. Got the black chrome Air Jordan metallic silver sixes, you know what I'm saying? First feel of this shoe, and first look at this shoe, man, it's very crispy, you know. I'm liking what I'm seeing, you know what I'm saying? I'm looking around the shoe, the different accents of silver is popping out. As you can see, they have the silver jump man right here. They have the little silver jump man on the lace lock. And the best part of my opinion that stick out to me is the Chrome 23 on the back with the Chrome little, like, uh, I forgot what this is called, but I know this is a detail on the shoe, but you can actually use this to help you put the shoe on too. I don't know what it's called. Has the accents of silver going around the shoe. Um, the suede, I don't know, I don't know if this is suede or if they, this is a different material, but um, it was really, really good. I never had a pair of like the all like the black infrareds, I never had those, I never had the DMPs. I've seen them in person, but I've never had them, so I don't really know what they feel like. So, this is what they feel like. 
still pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? It's a very clean, sleek shoe. You know what I'm saying? It's just black and silver. You can wear it with a lot of different things. Um, yeah, the pros of these shoes so far that I'm seeing is like, like I said, they're all black with the hint of chrome. It's a very clean shoe. You can wear this with a lot of different things. Um, I like the icy bottoms. These are really like clear icy bottoms because nowadays a lot of shoes that have icy bottoms, they try to make it this like translucent, like blue color. And in my opinion, I do like the clear, more icy, clear bottom look. So this is a very sleek looking shoe. Um, there's not too many pros to say, like I said, this is not very, like a very hype sneaker, but me personally, I don't go after too many hype sneakers. You know, a lot of the time I go after hype sneakers are for me to sell, but this is a personal sneaker that I really liked and I really wanted. It's just, I love sixes. Sixes is what got me into the sneaker game, the sport blue. So I had to, you know, pick up me up another pair of sixes, especially this all black pair. <laughs> um not too much to say when it comes to pros like it's really it's just a really it's a really good shoe like not too hype you know what i'm saying but it's a really good shoe cons um only thing i can really say is like if you're a big a big stickler about shoes and stuff and you like want to sell these or stuff and you're looking at the bottom i don't know if you can see i don't know if the light's picking it up but it looks like it's like lint or something or like just dust and then like some of the glue might be coming out like the cracking like when they made the shoe but there's nothing like, that's gonna affect the shoe at all like i'm gonna wear these so it doesn't really matter but if you're a stickler on stuff like that that's probably the only flaw i can say like i said i'm, I'm in the sneakers but i'm not one of them huge crazy sneaker heads that know every single thing about every material everything about shoes so uh yeah but um yeah i'm just rambling on like i said this is a very good shoe out of all the sixes that i've seen this is a good like nine out of ten like i said this is a crispy shoe you can wear this with a lot of things you know what i'm saying so uh like I said, make sure you're subscribed because I will be doing a how to style these videos in the next probably two days after y'all see this. So, uh, yeah, but uh, I'm going to put these back in the box real quick. And yeah, man, that's the end of the review. Like I said, stick to the very, very end. I will be doing an on foot review as well at the end of this video after I close out my intro. So make sure you go watch that. But uh, if y'all enjoyed this video, you already know the deal. Make sure to leave a like on this video. Comment some more videos y'all want to see in the description below. And like I said a few seconds ago, make sure you're subscribed. You have the notification bell rang. December is starting today when y'all are seeing this video. And you know, I'm trying to go crazy for this whole Christmas winter season, you know, on the tube. So make sure y'all don't miss any of that. Follow me on the gram and uh, TikTok so y'all can see me post a bunch of fire, funny content and fire flicks on the gram. You know what I'm saying? That will all be in the, my link tree in the description below. Um, Yeah. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Check out my B-roll slash on-foot review now. I'll catch you on the next one. Let's go.